Bam! We got another Modern Horizons booster box to get to cracking. This one is not mine. So this is not going to be five of seven. This is a big shout out to Warzone Matrix in good old Cleveland, Ohio. Chris was nice enough to allow me to crack one of these open, and we are going to go ahead and do that. Good luck to you, sir. The last box we opened was just ridiculous. Um, this would be the t a total of five boxes now that we've cracked open on this channel. And with pretty good luck so far, but I have yet to pull the infamous Urza. He seems to continuously uh, dodge us <clears throat> every which way he goes. This guy right here, he does not allow me to pull him. How many packs is that? That's uh, 36 times 4. Yeah, no mathematician. But it's up there. It's got to be, what, 136? Is my math correct on that? I don't know. 136 packs, and we have not yet pulled an Urza. That is just mind-blowing. I think my math is off. Maybe. 6, 4, 136, 146, something like that. Whatever. Whatever, guys. I'm no scientist. Whoa. <clears throat> Why is that upside down? That is a little different there. We have Miss Sarah in all of her glory. Looking absolutely gorgeous. Followed by a force of virtue. All right. <clears throat> we need to step things up here a bit. Someone's like, we just started the video. What on earth are you talking about? Wow, that was kind of crazy. We did not open a single uh, a single foil yet. <laughs> One back in, no foil. All right, so these are upside down for some reason. Oh, nice. I guess, uh, yeah, I think that's what people are talking about. These cards being flipped upside down. Scrapyard Recombiner. Well, man, there you go. Right now, the box is looking a little dudley, but that doesn't mean we're not going to pick things up here. On to pack three, my friends. On to pack three. Best pool so far had to be the Foil Renin 6. That thing was just ridiculous. Ooh, we got zebra cakes here. This guy's fun, huh? He's out there hunting zebras while he's riding on one. Oh, okay. Okay, man. Boosh. There you go. We do have a foil rare, Iola's Influence, followed by Areola of Flame. All right, so we're going to put the tokens. Where's all my foil tokens? Three tokens so far, not one is foil. That is kind of perplexing, I must say. Nonetheless, here we go. Bear time, baby. Bear time. Look at the freaking detail, man. Can't get enough of this camera. Only downside is when I do these um, with, with the new camera... When I do these videos, it takes an extra, like, three hours <laughs> to upload a video. It is redonkulous. Nice. By the way, these are going for, complete sets of these cards are going for between 20 and 30 bucks. So you might want to hang on to those. Boom! Hits them with the Vista. Great card. Great card. Absolutely breathtaking. Get a load of that sliver lava belly. That is some good times. Good times right there, my lava belly friend. Good times indeed. All right, come on. Come on, Urza. Urza. Dude, please don't show up in this opening. I mean, uh, good luck. Good luck, Chris. Uh, <laughs> I would rather we save the Urza for later. I got three more boxes coming. They'll be here in about a week and a half. Uh, but right now, if we pull an Urza, I just may cry. We got a sword. Swords are pretty sweet. Snow-covered mountain. And Savage Swipe with a... Ooh, Fiery Island, dang. Back-to-back -back juiciness. Holy smokes. Not one foil token yet. That is just redonkulous. Not one foil token, but we do have the Fiery Islet. Look at that, man. I don't think I want to go inside that cave. Probably get burned to death. Eh, probably not a good idea. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, again, uh, the Uncommon Slot is just not really doing that hot. The Uncommon Slot... Um, I think prices ticked up a tiny bit for that one white card, and I think two other uncommons. Uh, I think they're up about 15 cents from where they were before. Urza. Oh, it was way off. It's like one of those Masticores. Not two shabs. Snow-covered island. Man, that artwork, though, is just really cool. How close can we get? Oh, my God. Look, look at the detail on that. 
you could see like the little what do you call those the pixels sure you can see the pixels on them oh red and stimpy back at it again that is wow the fourth red and stimp we've pulled absolutely nuts that is the fourth one we've opened oh my gosh oh my gosh awesome hit right there awesome hit i don't think we're going to get a foil mythic have you guys ever pulled a foil mythic and a foil rare in the same box or has anyone ever pulled three foil rares in one box that would be something that would be something this guy's like i've pulled like four i i i i eyeballs uh-huh okay not fun uh good old genesis of bulk now it is absolutely tanked down the the, the shooter the shoot that's right we have to censor ourselves here with everything we do the bots are out man the bots are out and they're alive don't mess with the bots guys don't mess with the bots all right stepping it up actually this box is already looking phenomenal i think we're already at like six uh, no like we're like almost like 80 bucks value right now the soldier token someone mentioned flips what's the flip about somebody mentioned there's tokens that flip what does all that go? What, 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 what's all that about? This thing actually went up in value. I think it's like 12 bucks now. It's steadily climbing. Really cool. Goblin Engineer. There you have it. There you have it. And uh, some Sticky Icky and uh, the bows. All right. So we got the bows there. Bows nose. Bo Jackson. Oh, my God. Amazing running back. Poor guy. He was my favorite. Very short career, though. Very unfortunately, that back injury. Look at this dude, man. That's my ninja right there. Whoa-boosh! Yeah, don't mess with that guy. That's right. Do not mess with that young man. Unsettled Mariner. Now, this card was up to about uh, $11 upon uh, end of spoiler season. And now I think it's shot all the way down to four big ones. That's right, four big ones. Not a whole lot going on there. And if you guys haven't checked out by now the um, the update, the price, the prices of these... They have tanked a bit. I'm curious to see. I'm checking on them every day. I'll probably do one more update video just to see where we're at. This guy's going to see where you're at. That's right. Uh, Snow-covered forest. Ooh, Meriden besieged. Not too bad. Cool artwork on that. How many sets were named after, uh, or how many cards in this set were named after another set? Is that it? Is it just that one? Generous gift. That's the one that's going for like $1.15 right now, roughly. Give or take a few pennies there. Give or take a few pennies. Is it just that one? I thought there was one more. I thought there was one more. And which one of these cards is the... F oh, 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 I get it. The shapeshifter is the flip. Get out of Dodge, man. It's a Buick, thanks. Oh, snow covered with uh, this guy going deep into the belly of the rather. Mm -hmm. Snow covered planes. Oh, my God. So I'll take a moment and just look at Sarah's beauty. I, should, I, I move it back and forth. You'd almost think it's like a foil. No, it's not a foil, actually. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't get enough Sarah. What is the other card I haven't pulled? I have not pulled a Yawgmoth yet, either, which is nuts. Four boxes. No Yawgmoth, no Urza. If this box has both, I'm going to... I don't know what's going to happen. Man. Something's going to go down. <sighs> Belly Dancer all up in it. <sighs> she is cute, huh? Good times. Take her home to mom and she'll slice off on your arms. There you go. Not bad. Ooh, the call. The old call. Cool little tutor ability on that card. I do like it. I do, I do, I do. This dude. Man, what well, man. Bad time, huh? Did he cut his own eyes out? Why is he doing that? Enchant a creature has? Mm, put a minus minus on contact creature. Why would he do that to himself? I have no idea. I mean, I, for cosplay purposes, I mean, I guess that's fun. But outside of that, I don't know what's going on with him. That guy's goofy. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. We are a little under halfway through, and we have our spider token. Spider Umbra. Not exactly, but you could imagine. What is this? Somebody please explain what the heck this is. Get a load of that. What is that? What the heck is it? You got, like, the headless horseman right there, and he's riding on top of, like, this shell crab eel dragon monstrosity. I have no clue what's going on with that. Some, somebody please let me know. And then we have the nether spirit. And he's just hanging out here. He's like, I'm from under the floorboards. We have something in common, him and I. And they're both hiding under floorboards. There you go. What card will be the first one? First uncommon is Spike over two bucks. Place your bets. Place your bets. So what do you guys think it's going to be? What is going to be the first uncommon to go over two bucks? That's a really good question. 
flipping the old flip card. See, it makes it better. It actually protects. When it was like this, it would slide, and the, and the this would get caught, and it would just move uh, to the rare or mythic almost every time if you weren't careful. But these, obviously, don't slide as much. Pillage. Uh-oh, and something black in the back. Uh, I think we know what that is. Cool card, though. That pillage artwork's nice. And what do you guys think of, like, an all-foil uh, price list? Should we check that out? What are the foil prices on this set? Would anyone be interested in watching that video? Um, not really. I have no clue. And then we are back. Modern Masters. Nope. Horizons. So they really just got rid of Masters and then just put in uh, Horizons. I mean, I, instead of just reprinting a bunch of stuff. Ooh, is that a foil flip? Oh, why? Why? Why, guys? Why isn't the shapeshifter a flipper? What is going on there? Why can't you flip the shapeshifter? Somebody explain that to me. She's like, my son, you have lost the war, but you have not won the battle. Uh, yeah, you just completely got shut down altogether there. I don't know what's happening with that. Oh, Martyr Soul. That's some cool little uh, foilage going on there. Ooh, these cards look damaged down here. I'll have to show you guys. Get a load of this. What is going on there? You see that? Like right here? No bueno, my friends. No bueno. But that soul's looking slick. An Altar of Dementia. This card's going to continue to tick up. Better watch out, man. Better watch out. Telling me bananas. Beetlejuice back at it. So let's see what cards are affected and what they look like. All right. So we got this. Uh, somehow got destroyed. And so did that guy. Wonderful. I have heard complaints about people saying the quality is not up to par. Um, and that's a huge problem. That uh, some people are getting damaged product fresh out the pack. There should be nothing damaged with this product when it comes straight out the pack. Oh, there's another flipper. So is it just random ones, I guess? I mean, how, how does that what? How does that work? Swords nose. Swords nose. Snow-covered forest, followed by, ooh, Plague Engineer. Mm-hmm. It's got the old death touch, not two shabs. As Plague en Engineer enters the battlefield, choose a creature type, creature of the chosen type. Your opponent's control will get minus one, minus one. Now, if that <clears throat> was like an artifact or enchantment or something, I think it'd be worth more. Am I wrong for saying that? You guys think so? Because, I mean, it's easier to remove a creature in magic than it is to remove an enchantment or an artifact, in my opinion. I mean, of course, it depends what deck you're up against, and if I can open a pack, that'd be really sweet. The struggle's real on this one. Holy smokes, man. Ooh, the old illusion guy. The old illusion. Looking schnazzy. Not bad. Is it a flipper? No, it's not a flipper. All right, moving forward. Oh, for fitty. This dude back at it. He's like about to backhand that parrot in this one. He always mixes it up. Snow-covered mutant. And a cloud shredder sliver. Nice. Very nice. Real nice. Sliver creatures you control have flying and haste. Very slick. Oh, the old battle screecher. Mm-hmm. I see. All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We already pulled, what was it, three Mythics, two Mythics? Oh, we haven't pulled the Mox Tantalite yet. So I haven't pulled the Mox Tantalite, which I'm really not disappointed. And I uh, haven't, haven't pulled Urza, and I have yet to pull uh, the other guy. Who's the other guy? Um, Yawgmoth. I don't know how. They're, they're just, like, uh, avoiding me at all costs. Regrowth. There you go. Foil Regrowth. Return to a card from your graveyard to your hand. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Isles Influence. We already pulled the, uh, the foil of this. Not one of the more impressive cards, I don't think. Uh, you better be mon running mono green if you're going to be doing that kind of build. Wing Shards. There you go. Alrighty. Here it is. Another pack. What's it going to be? 200 bucks a box. I see prices diving down to 189 I seen as low as, I think, 188 on eBay. I I mean that might be a time to buy. I don't know. I, I I did say this could probably go down to 175, and then you really want to empty the piggy bank. And if that's the case, by all means, get your unbound flourishing right up in there. What is going on in this guy? That dude is so tiny, and that's like a like a like a 20 headed hydra. That thing is gonna wreck your entire day. You are not. Is he whipping like a spirit? That thing. What is he whipping at? That thing. No. Oh, he cut it. Yeah, you couldn't even cut the head off. You're not even that good, man. Dude's weak sauce. I don't know what to say about him. We'll exclude him from the rest of the video. How about that? Unbound Flourishing, not bad. I think it's about an $8 hit. So we have three Mythics. No Yogg, no Urz. 
and no mocks. I have a feeling like the mocks right now. These chicks, man. They are just up there, man. They are up there with craziness. Oh, I haven't seen you in forever. Giver of ruins, not too bad. She reminds me of the other giver, or not not the other giver, the other um, other ruin chick. Mother of ruins, is it? Very similar, I think, in abilities. What does Mother of Ruins do again? I can't remember that. I remember pulling a foil over. I think I pulled two foils of Mother of Ruins before, which was pretty sweet. Which was pretty sweet indeed. Got the shapeshifter. Get some. What card is this? I don't remember seeing this one. That's got to be an uncommon or something, right? I would assume so. Snow-covered forest and astral drift. Hmm... The old glider. There it is. There it is. I was amazed that this has 36 booster packs in it. I was under the impression there was only 24 when it first got to cracking. So when there was 36, I was just blown away. Real talk right there. Real talk. We got this dude. He just got out of jail, apparently. Don't steal, kids. Bad things will happen to you. Force of Rage. There it is. Force of Rage. That card's plummeted as well. Firebolt. But uh, I do recommend, if you guys don't have an LGS buy and you're looking to pick up a booster box of this product, um, go to my uh, go to the description in every video and look for Ebates. Ebates. Uh, you can save 10 bucks off your first purchase, 25 bucks or more. And uh, also a percentage, anywhere between 2 and 10% off of um, every purchase you make on eBay. And also there's like a... If you like Amazon, you can do it through Amazon as well. It doesn't matter. Sometimes they have 5 10% on Amazon, which is pretty sweet. But check it out. Oh, my ninja. Got the upside down ninja going down. What do you, what do you, he looks a little different that way, huh? Is that a he? Maybe a she. I like those glasses. Get a load of those specs, man. Those are neat specs you got there, my friend. And tectonic reformation. This card was at 10 11 bucks. And has dropped all the way down to like a dollar fifty. Whoa. Not too good. Not too good at all. Not too good at all. Alright, I think we're gonna change things up a bit here. 36.54. Bad day. Snow cover and lightning skeletal. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. What is going on in this artwork? What is going on there? Um, that's kind of creepy now that I think about it. That's kind of creepy. You know what else is creepy? There's some other stuff that's kind of creepy. Something else creepy. Yeah! Where do you think you're going? Come back here! <laughs> that's creepy too. We have fun. We have fun. Hot dog. What just happened there? The little people, my friends. The little people. They came out of the word work, and they just showed up, and I can't open a booster pack. I have no idea how to do this. There we go. Oosh! Oh, the angel token! Beautiful! I want a flip angel token. Anybody else want the flip angel token? I want the flip angel token. That'd be sweet. This dude just got done with your chick, and he's walking out the door. He's like, we'll see ya. Oh, area of flame. All right, pretty cool. So we did get two rare foils in this one. Absolutely gorgeous to look at. Very, very cool. Nice little pulls there. And the plane bound accomplice. But I bam. Nice. Very nice. I don't think um how many lands did we hit? One land? One land. Oh my god. The value on this. It started out really, really good. But it ain't over yet, baby. It ain't over yet. Twenty nine fifty foul. There you go. Can't believe it's going for twenty or thirty bucks. That is nuts. Uh the old balker. This thing really crashed in price. I think it's like 50 cents now. Unbelievable. But it makes sense. It's a nerfed down uh, version of uh, the old laser there, you know. They really nerfed it up. Not sure why they had to do that. No, it was, it was easily broken. You can remove counter, or, uh, what was it, enchantments or lands you control. Or lands cannot have counters or whatever. And, uh, yeah, then you just get a big old 2020 out right off rip. Pretty nasty. There it is. A little piece of heaven. I would love to be there. That would be so peaceful, man. I dig it. Bam! Sun-baked crayon. Not too shabby. Good card right there. 
All of these are going to go up. Keep an eye out for them. They're all going to go up in price. I guarantee it. Fact or fiction. It's fact, man. They're all going to go up in price. It's a great set to open for all the lands. The lands, again, if all else fails, these lands are really going to kick butt, take number. A little squirrel action going on there. No flipperoo. All right. 1954. Got this guy. It's true. That thing's creepy, man. That thing's creepy. You know what I'm excited for? A silent clearing. That's what I'm excited for. Beautiful. Three lands now. I complain about the lands and what happens. Out pops the lands. That is nutty. Is my focus on? There we go. My focus was a little goofy there. I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry. Bear more. There you go. Focus was a little goofy there. Not sure what to make of all that. I wonder if it's been like that. Is the focus still good? Yeah, the focus looks good. All right. Not sure what happened. Sorry. My apologies, friends. Uh, but what I'm really excited for, besides my ADD uh, going away one day, Collected Conjuring. Pretty sweet. There we go. Yeah, the focus is doing good. Okay. Um, is the uh, the next... Um, there's House of a Thousand Corpses. Um, the Devil's Rejects. And then on top of that, uh, what's the new movie called? Uh, by Rob Zombie. He's got the new one coming out. Uh, I can't think of it. But man, I have never been more excited to watch a horror movie in a long time. I really, really enjoy his work. Some of his stuff, not so amazing. But... Um, this, uh, the trilogy is going to be sweet. I hope he keeps going. I hope he goes with four. I mean, he goes with four movies, man. Huge Rob Zombie fan. Boom! Crashing footfalls. There you go. A whole lot of suspend action there. Nothing too fancy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, we're down to the nitty gritty. Only got a few packs left. Only got a few packs left. What's it going to be? We got that Gabo. And oof! Big old caterpillar. Yeah, we're all afraid of caterpillars. Ain't that something? That is something right there. Big old caterpillar. Snow covered. And Force of Vigor. Nice. Cunning Evasion. One of these, one of those. The old Grave Shifter. Whoa, that Grave Shifter artwork. That looks too much like the other one. Uh, is it Grave Digger? I, I can't remember which one it is. Um, but it looks very similar to it. They just gave him purple hair. I don't know about that. I don't really know about that artwork. Not a big fan. Oh, got the old big old elephant with his tusks. Get some ivory up in here. No flipper. What is that? Two in one box. That's kind of different. All right. Tree folk umbra. The umbras do exist. Oh, man. Nasty, nasty, nasty girl. What is that up there? What is that? Oh, you get a look at that, guys. What is that? Look, see a little dot right there? A little dot up on the left there. It looks like a little bit of it came off. I'm not going to rub it anymore. I'll let him take care of that if he really wants to. But something definitely is up on that top left. Someone was chewing when they were at the um, the press or something. Not too good. Awesome pool, man. First sliver is a great hit. Phenomenal. Something in the air. Bird token. Off center, bird token. Someone's going to pay 50 bucks for that, and I'm going to laugh. All right, what else? Sliver again. Followed by Snow Cover Forest. Ooh, Bogarden and Dragonheart. Another foil. Not bad. And Pasolic Mons. I think this Mons will eventually go up to like three, four bucks, maybe five. What's it at now? I wish I had all the information in front of me. I just simply don't. Um, From... A mythic standpoint, this box has been pretty good to us. We pulled two out of the four more expensive uh, mythics, which is pretty phenomenal. And we got this dude right here, looking ugly as heck. Not bad. Snow cover. And the fallen zombie ninja. There you go. Good old shinobi. The old shinobi. You can't go wrong with the shinobi. Tally me bananas. Two packs to crack, man. What's hiding inside, baby? What is hiding inside? I can't believe we haven't pulled a Yog Myth and we haven't pulled an Urza. That is nutty. That is just nutty. The Illusion. Uh, about 50 to 50 foe. A little bit of uh, aerial action there. There you go. Snow Cover Mountain. Winds of Abandon. I could say Wines. Wines of Abandon. Why not? King of the Pride. Tribute Mage. Last pack. What's it going to be? Come on, babies. Come on, babies. What's it going to be? Come on, come on. 
If you guys haven't seen the other box openings, I highly encourage you to go back and give it a check. Uh, some pretty amazing pulls. I like this. I just like that color. I just like everything about this. I should have really done uh, foils with these for sure. And the Mist Syndicate Naga. Five boxes in. Chris, I appreciate you allowing me to open this up on the channel. If any uh, patrons want to go ahead and ship me out something uh, to crack for them, I'll return it and pay for the return shipping by all means. Appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, skidink, skidink, skadoosh.